Hey everyone, I, I don't have too much time today, but I did want to jump in here just for a second. So um, I have first an announcement to make, I actually won that on buymeacoffee.com. Uh, PayPal actually severed ties with buymeacoffee.com. So if you were subscribed or you had a membership on my buymeacoffee.com slash Starpath Academy channel, uh, most likely you have been unsubscribed if you were subscribed with PayPal. So just uh, please know that uh, you can resubscribe with credit card because uh, that still works. But PayPal, PayPal has severed, um, severed ties with um, buy me a coffee. Now I don't want to go into that, but uh, that's what it is. And unfortunately there's nothing I can do. Uh, if you want, you can do, um, uh, credit card there or you could uh, go to my patreon.com um, uh, and um, subscribe there i always share the same content uh, on both platforms so very sorry to say that i didn't even notice so what that's one thing the other thing is that regarding the um or, well attack on ukraine right uh don't want to get political but i do want to say there are this time it's different in the sense that um, we are different. We are different than we were last, you know, last a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, we were different. So watch out for people's reaction because the media has desensitized us and now they're trying to sensitize us back. Um, so we have been desensitized to violence, uh, to TV, media, and news, and um, all the rest, especially the younger generation, right? And these last couple of years didn't really help, right? The other thing I want to mention that actually, um, well, there was never a good time to tell you this, but um, let's just get into it. Why is this going to be different this time? It's, it's because uh, if you know uh, Pavlov, the Russian scientists with the dogs where they ring a bell and then uh, saliva comes out because they, the dog had been conditioned in order to associate the bell ringing with food that he's going to get food soon. Um, so that association actually makes neural patterns in the brain of people, right? Where they have now been conditioned to uh, react to a certain um certain action with a certain reaction that's normal that's how human or any nature works right um so but there are other darker parts of that experience that they don't tell you about or that they, they didn't tell me about anyway so i wonder if you know about that but that is actually well it went further of course you can guess that um a certain ring uh, would mean food for the dog and a different type of ring, a different tone would mean a beating for a dog, right? Uh, electric color shock, I believe. So what has happened, a certain tone meant something, another tone meant a different, so the dog would know that soon the electric shock would be coming. So what would happen is, this is not even the fun part, you know, uh, is that those two tones were slightly, slightly being modified that the differentiation between the two was getting harder and harder for the dog. Similarly, visually, or maybe on another group, uh, would be um, shapes, showing shapes for the dogs, a certain shape, an oval, maybe a, a vertical oval shape would mean food, but a horizontal oval would mean um, shock or um a beating for a dog right so then they would condition it that way now with the tunes they were getting closer and closer to the point where the dog could no longer differentiate but also the ovals were getting more and more circle like and it was getting harder for the dogs to differentiate which is which so um, they were measuring the tune difference and the shape difference where the dogs can uh, differentiate between them. But also what this means is that he could expect something but not get the same results. But prior to that, they have been conditioned um, for certain things, right? But now those conditions are different and slowly, like the frog is being boiled, I guess, is being worse and worse and different and different. And some percentage of the dogs in some percentages of the dogs, something developed called uh, neurosis, right? A certain neurosis uh, developed in the dogs where they would be, um, 
they would break the conditioning, but in a way where it would also break the patterns, the neural patterns, the physical um, neuroplasticity patterns in their brains uh, would be broken now, but they still have most of the patterns, right? So what would happen in these cases with these dogs that they would have violent actions, they could no, lo be, no longer be pet, they could no longer be restroke, uh, fed, they would not eat when they are in the same room with the human, um, they would have random erections and any, any bad stuff that you can imagine. So these poor dogs were completely broken. The other thing that, that was specifically noted that these dogs would not be able to be reconditioned, any type of conditioning anymore, right? So that would mean that you could try to condition with different food, different shapes, whatever, no, nothing, no longer they would work. The only thing that they could do to these dogs are put them down. So what has happened in the last couple of years with the media is that, um, well, I don't want to get too deep into it, especially on YouTube, but you can guess what were the differences or we, you can draw parallels that uh, some you're expecting something because you were conditioned, the news tells you what's real and you look at the news and that's truly what's happening and that's truly what's happening. So you have been conditioned to believe that. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that they want to lie to you, right? But they are lying to you, but that, that doesn't mean that they care if you know that they're lying or they know that you know that they're lying. What happens is that that difference between the two patterns is now breaking a neural pattern in your brain, right? So what happens is that some of you might experience uh, uh, neurotic behavior, right? Um, so neurosis. And uh, there are different kinds. However, one thing that is like that is desensitizations, where if you take a look at in Florida or things happened a couple of years ago, or basically anywhere, and especially in major cities, um, something like the, the standby, the spy standard um, pattern could emerge where there's a violent act being committed right next to the people on the street, but they are in spectator mode. I think that's what they're called. Uh, they are not just viewing the action. They no longer can differentiate what's real and what's not because it's the same because they're constantly pushed similar images through mass media, social media, and so on. So now they have this... Um, breakage between what's real and what's not real because they it's it's gaslighting i guess so if 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 you know like uh people who have been gaslit a lot because it was it was actually a torturing uh, technique so they can no longer do that right but also violent acts might um, spur from nothing right just like with the dogs so i'm not you know i'm not the scientist in these in these fields, but um, I ask you to do your own research and kind of watch for things as they are developing. Actually, I'm, I was not able to find the research anymore, but if you try to Google or if you can find the actual papers that the scientists put down, I think they, they were also repeated by different scientists here in the United States, of course, uh, by you know who. <laughs> um, and um, those agencies so um anyway what i want to get to is that if certain situations are developing especially if in europe uh if you're in europe in war zones or anything like that you may see things like um someone still going into the job where the job site is actually demolished or completely broken and they're still going in there working uh from their office because uh, that is a pattern that's still intact however nothing is intact uh, or they are they're shooting on the street, but he has to go because he has to buy groceries, right? So it's crazy things might happen, but on the other side as well, violence could spur up like that. Um, no disregarding authority and not all of that. So things can happen. I want you to watch out for yourself, you know, and watch out for your family because as things are developing, if you don't are not in the pattern, you might it might seem unbelievable for you but i have stories from from past wars from my grandmother and other stories where where people yeah i get the chills anyway i don't want to get into that so anyway what you need to watch out is that you don't try to reason with these people 
right? Know that they are suffering, you know, feel um, if you can help, help them or watch out for, uh, for your health and your family. You don't want to get involved into something crazy because um, crazy times are already here. It looks like it. Anyway, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I think the safest thing is to follow me on Patreon for now uh, or buy me a coffee, but with, um, with, I guess, with your credit card. Um, if you want to support that um, and please like the video and I thank each and every one of you for watching these videos and uh, sharing them. Thank you. Oh, one thing I didn't mention. Uh, did I mention it? If you can find these papers or videos about uh, Pavlov and um, neurosis, uh, then please send them to me in the chat or on the contact form on the about page of my YouTube channel, there's a contact form. If you can find the research, I'm unable to find it anymore uh, or find the documentaries about at least the American researchers here, I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much.